How do vitamins, particularly vitamin B, vitamin C, how do they affect mental health? Yeah, uh, tremendously. Th those are kind of cofactors in various metabolic processes. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we need them for just general body health, you know. Um, Most people wouldn't associate them, though, with mental health. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Yeah, the, very, the same processes that convert, say, tryptophan to serotonin are going on in our guts and in our muscles and in our heart, as mm -hmm. well as in our brain. It's probably the most important brain neurotransmitter there is, and yet it's the scarcest in the, in the uh, food supply. Which, which is? Tryptophan. Okay. Yeah, it's, one of the, it's the scarcest of the 22 amino acids that are in the protein we eat. It's hardest to get, and yet it's the mm. most important. You know. We need various vitamins and minerals mm -hmm. for the metabolic process for the brain and the other cells in the body to convert these amino acids into their neurotransmitters or their end product. Okay. And that's and that's where the vitamins come in. Uh, vitamin C has uh, important functions for healthy uh, collagen, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, and but it and it's a good antioxidant. It, and vitamin E is a very important antioxidant. That's why it's in, in the fish oil, because mm -hmm. it prevents the oxidative breakdown of uh, fats, for instance. In the process to go to tryptophan, to 5 hydroxytryptophan to serotonin, we need adequate amounts of magnesium and zinc, which are minerals. So we, we need minerals as well. We need minerals as well. And we need vitamin C, lots of vitamin C, or vit vitamin B6 is the most important, B vitamin B6. Okay in that process. Not B12? Uh, B12 may, probably plays a role. B12 mm -hmm. is maybe more important in other parts, but mm -hmm. as far as it, it's, I, I almost always prescribe it for people because it's so inexpensive. And, okay. And, and if, especially if we're not red meat eaters, mm -hmm. uh, red meat's one of the better sources of vitamin B12. So we may be all on the lower side of the normal range in B12 and it's just so inexpensive and it doesn't have any toxicity. Uh, I'll often recommend that at least for okay. a while. But B6 is really important. B6 is very important. I try to get people to take at least 100 milligrams of that mm -hmm. every day in order for the amino acids to be manufactured into their uh, neurotransmitters. And folic acid is important too. Uh, so all these things that we know are important for prenatal use in mm -hmm. women uh, who are pregnant and, uh, and for intestinal health and for liver health and muscles. I mean, we need that for the whole body and, and the brain uh, needs it as well. So I think what's good for the brain, that's what I've discovered. I, mm -hmm. I, my practice is mainly focused on mental health issues, helping people get off their drugs. Uh, but uh, a lot of people come back and say, my fibromyalgia went away, or my oh, they irritable do. bowel syndrome went away while I was on this stuff for brain nutrition, and I finally tumbled to the fact that what's good for the brain is good for the body, and vice versa. So uh, it's just a holistic approach. You know? It is, isn't yeah, it? It's a whole, it's, we need to pay attention to the nutritional needs of all the cells of the body to be healthy. And there's a lot of vitamins and antioxidants that, that are depleted in the food supply. So if we're all sick and we're aging, mm -hmm. it's probably not natural that we're sick and aging. It, we're probably nutritionally deficient as at least part of the whole picture. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Yeah, welcome.